time to take a trip to outer space and have one breathtaking look at all the amazing findings from the James Webb Telescope. NASA's new toy was able to capture some remarkable images of the Southern Ring Nebula, which is 2,000 light years away, and it's giving us a better look at our solar system than we've ever seen before. And joining us now on set to talk about all of it is former NASA astronaut and current senior advisor for <laughs> space programs at the Intrepid Museum. You're quite the title, Mike. Yeah, I know. Uh, we have right. Mike Massimino here with us. So, Mike, um, this is pretty cool stuff. I mean, yeah. talk to us about how detailed these images are. Well, what's, what's interesting, uh, if you look at what Hubble, the Hubble images, in fact, that nebula that you're showing right there, the Ring Nebula, there's, that was, that was imaged by Hubble, which is a telescope I worked on as an astronaut. I got two trips there, an amazing telescope. But now with Webb, we can image that same thing and see much more. So the detail that James Webb is able to show us is particularly in the, the, the section of, of light, the infrared, the infrared, uh, infrared section of the, of, of light, those wavelengths, which are very, very dim light coming from stars and dust far away from us. Uh, it's able to detect those things much better than Hubble would. And that's when you look at those images next, next to each other, you see how much more detail I we have. I wonder if there is a way to do a split images. screen to, yeah, to notice the difference. Yeah. yeah. So it seems like that's really what's so incredible here, right, is the yeah. fact that this telescope can see so much and also that it's finding things that we previously did not know about. Could you foresee this? Oh, there's a split screen, actually, right? Um, could you see this doing that if, with other bigger discoveries, finding something we didn't know about our universe? Yeah, absolutely, Savannah. I think what we're still seeing with, with Webb is that it's fairly new. I mean, it was about yeah. six months ago or so where it started to warm up and we got those first images over the summer. So you usually start out slow with these things, making sure it's working, imaging things like the, like the Southern Nebula that we saw, uh, imaging those things that you know about and looking at differences. And now you learn how you can use it. And what, they've, what they're seeing is things that they never thought they would discover. What they thought was two stars orbiting each other. They found a third star. Now it looks like they might have a fourth and fifth star in that one region. So they're able to see a lot more because of the sensitivity in, in, of this new telescope that's up there. And now they're going to start pointing at other things, and who knows what they're going to discover. So I think they're just warming up. When these images are coming back to NASA, yeah. is everybody like, oh, my God, look, we <laughs> they're digging no. out. I think yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah, it's like, wow, look yeah. what we found. And that's the cool thing about this astronomy uh, that we see coming out of Hubble in the past and now with Webb is that we're now uh, and not just answering questions, but we're coming up with like kind of the answer first, like, oh, what is that? And then you ask the question, because you don't even know what question to ask. Yeah. Because you make these, the scientists are able to make these discoveries, and they're like, wow, we never even thought to ask that question. And that's what I think is the exciting thing here about this and science in general. Mm. In other space news, it mm -hmm. um, looks like Artemis is back in the headlines and yeah. will be making its re-entry back into Earth. I feel like we, yeah. we just uh, saw it, it launch <laughs> overnight not too long ago. Yeah. So what can we expect this weekend and other missions that are planned? Well, I think what we were talking earlier about, you know, that the launch was delayed over and over again. Yeah. This thing's coming back. Okay. So we don't, I think it's, it's really <laughs> it it's wants coming to come here. Back home. It's not going to be able to do a reverse and uh, go into a holding pattern. Yeah. It's actually going to come back. <laughs> uh, and uh, the location may change a little bit, the timing might change a little bit, but it's coming back on Sunday. Uh, this is actually a really big part of that mission. You know, everyone was looking forward to the launch, and then we got some really cool images mm -hmm. of the moon from this thing as it's flying around it. But now they're going to be testing things like the heat shield. Can this vehicle re-enter like they expect it to? Can it make it through the heat of re-entry, which is thousands of degrees at a very high speed? Can it come down and land, splash down in the ocean successfully with the parachutes? And then they're going to recover the vehicle and see how much radiation it took. Would it protect astronauts well? So it's going to be a, a lot of information that is very important to see whether or not we can actually send people on the next mission, and that's the plan. So I'm going, uh, I'm going to the astronaut reunion. We have like a, every two years. It's been, it was it. delayed. <laughs> yeah, we have our astronaut reunion down in Houston uh, this weekend. And what? so I think that I, I'm So there'll be a watch party? I, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm oh, going okay, to, I hope okay. so. Whoa, whoa, I whoa, hope whoa, so. Whoa, but I think, whoa, whoa. but I think, I, yeah. And uh, what the, our speaker is going to be a guy named Harrison Schmidt, who is the last person to walk on the moon. Out of 12 people walked on the moon, and it's been 50 years since he did that. So it's 50 years ago this week that the final mission to Apollo, the, to the moon with the Apollo program was conducted. The last time we had people on the moon, 50 years ago this week, and now we're splashing down this new <laughs> spacecraft, which is hopefully leading the way to Wait, more missions. Wait, so this missions. weekend all the astronauts are getting together? Uh, as, many as, as many as can make it. What is the agenda? Uh, just to see your friends. It's kind of like um, a Christmas a party. It's kind of like a, it is that <laughs> Christmas, but it's also like a really cool 
high school reunion oh, kind of fantastic. thing. Fantastic! Just some, like uh, the this, smartest, coolest people ever who have all been to space. I wouldn't go. Okay, you could go with that if you want, <laughs> but I think it's, it's just a bunch of friends that we oh. work together and love each other, and we don't get to see each other as much anymore. And so now we get this. But it's also it's a tradition where even the the astronauts from way back come. So whoever's still around and can make it, like Harrison Schmidt, who's yeah. in his eighties now. Who walked on the moon is going to be our speaker, for example, <laughs> and then also get to meet the new the new folks. Oh There's a new goodness. astronaut class there that was picked uh, about a year ago, I guess now, but I haven't met any of those folks yet. So it's a good way to meet oh. the new people and to see some of the people that you worked with, and then also see some of the folks. From, it's really you can't see. It's like you you'll see. A, it's just like a reunion yeah. that you might go to. Yeah. You'll see uh, so many people that you want to speak to, and you'll get to a portion of them. So. Mike, but, anyway. get out of here. Right. Get to that. No, that's that's cool. for that. But the cool thing is, all this is happening around, around the all this same time. Around the the same journalist time. in me wants to like cover this. Yeah, fly on the yeah, wall. Exactly. 100%. All right, Mike, thank well, you so right, much. Well, I'll see if I can get you another ticket. Yeah. Uh, we'd love enjoy. to have you. Enjoy. Right. Enjoy. Thanks. That is so much right. fun. Thanks. Thanks for being here with us. Very Thanks. cool stuff, as thank always. You. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.